Congratulations, class of 2020. I'd like to congratulate all the students for graduating from their respective high schools and reaching this important milestone. I'd also like to thank all the parents and guardians for being supportive throughout the way, as well as the staff for their part in this amazing accomplishment. I want you all to imagine that it's 1980. You wake up, brush your teeth, do all the other necessary things to get ready for your day. You walk to the computer, command it to turn on, and there's your class, attending through their own screens as well. Oh wait, that was literally just last year. When peers used to mention class of 2020 has such a cool ring to it, I used to feel lucky that others thought this way about our graduating year. Although I know for a fact that none of us expected what was going to happen. And now I'm stuck wishing I was graduating a year or two earlier. It's hard to think of what we've been through as a class of 2020 or as the class of 2020, excuse me. These four years have been filled with immense ups and downs, but that fateful day nearly one year ago pays testament to what we, we can accomplish and the importance of persistence, even through all the adversity we've encountered. I'm going to tell you a story. In my hometown, there were two high schools that were nearby, Columbia River and Skyview. Some of you that are from Washington may know these schools, may, may not as well. Either way, I ended up choosing Columbia River, and within the first month, I was questioning whether I made the right choice. The school I chose was much smaller, and there weren't as many people. And in addition, half of my friends were at the different schools, so it was kind of hard to tell if I was missing out on anything. And with the pressures of high school starting to hit me, I felt as though I was trapped in a weird way. This feeling led to a conversation with my parents in which they explained they felt similarly, similarly during their first few months as well. It was nice knowing that I wasn't alone and I am eternally grateful that I stuck it out because I've made so many memories throughout those four years that will stick with me forever, mostly because they always pop up on Snapchat in the memories category. But nevertheless, those special moments are something I cherish and look back upon with fondness. Persistence was integral in my journey throughout high school, and I'm sure that many others felt the same. From all the stressful nights to the early Zoom meetings, everyone persisted through something each day in order to receive their diploma. Many faced the challenge of handling either school, work, sports, and home life, and sometimes even all of them at once, which seems extremely challenging to me. Although all of our circumstances were unique, we were able to overcome the obstacles thrown at us and still help each other out in the end. At the end of the day, we're all asked to diverge from our usual schedules and to continue to receive an education. I'm in awe of the sacrifices that staff mem members and students have made to make all of this possible. We, as a class of 2020, were able to make it through a very turbulent and uncertain time. And I'm here to say, we did it. And as 44th President Barack Obama said, regarding us, the class of 2020, he said, if the world is going to get better, it's going to be up to you. With everything suddenly feeling like it's up for grabs, this is your time to seize initiative. Nobody can tell you or us anymore that we should be waiting our turn. Nobody can tell us anymore this is how it's always been done. More than ever, this is our moment and our generation's world to shape. Congratulations to everyone in the class of 2020 and good luck in your respective endeavors, whether it be college next year, in the workforce, go studying abroad, wherever it may be, understand that you can do anything. And because you went through this, everything else is gonna be a breeze. Thank you.